Hey new friends, this is Zipster here. And I'd like to give you a tour of what I call Casa de la Zip, or my room. So, without further ado, we have got ponies, Winnie the Poohs, and just about everything else you can imagine. All up and down the walls, everywhere. So, and there's a uh, couple of Care Bears. Care Lot Bear, up there. You got all these, it's just amazing. Ah, uh, there she is. So those play sets. And, uh, basically say this is my media corner, though I don't want to use that term. You've got my holy grails up here. And yes, uh, if you're questioning, this one and this one are official. Only official copy of the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh in the entire world. Well, it's a complete series set. It's a because this is about 12 discs, but um, only got about four so far because it's extremely hard to find, but I'm sure we'll find them. Um, there are my Care Bear tapes, Pony Soundtrack, uh, some more Pooh videos. Um, and down here are my VCDs and some um, pieces that go with some zip stuff. I don't know what it is. And then you've got all the, and like, again, this is one of the biggest Winnie the Pooh archives in the world. And all these tapes are from, and DVDs are from different countries. Collected over about a span of 10 years since 2013. And there's more behind the uh, stacks, and there'll be a video on its own. Oh yeah, and there's Tigger in his little baseball game. This doesn't work, but it's a uh, good little stand-up figurine. And uh, there's more over here. Excuse me, it's just scrunched a little bit. Yeah, I've got some uh, Gen 3 Pony tapes. It's probably my second favorite besides say, G5. Um, and I've got some Korean Winnie the Pooh tapes down there. And uh, I've got more pony displays right here. There's Pip. And uh, some of this stuff I actually got way out of time before it even came to the U.S., and that's really cool. And, um... Oh, yeah, there's my Garfield, and I like, I'm a big Garfield fan myself, just don't really collect. Um, it says, keep your attitude, I have my own. And that's the kind of guy I am, I'm a huge fan of the Garfield show. Um, some wall stickers, and you got some toys. Well, really, I just like to display mine. You got a the Friendship Circle telephone, Friendship Circle radio, and the rare Tigger in the box toy. Well, a wood toy line. Uh... Show that works in another video. they are just some random little oddies I've had for some years. Um, and this is a cell from the New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh I got for fairly cheap. Um, well, for like $6, I didn't know what it was. But yep, there's the Walt Disney seal. It's from the All's Well That Ends Well Wishing Well episode. Okay, and these right here were like a toddler bath time toy or something, but... uh. I fixed it where it wasn't so babyish, and I could just, like, I put some command hooks, th uh, whatever they're called, behind it. And they were just 3D wall stickers. I had some Winnie the Pooh ones like it when I was little, but we don't know what happened to them. And I forgot to show you, it's a great big shelf right there. It's a coat rack, actually. Just don't hang coats or bags on it. There's some, uh, this, you know, this is uh, from one of the first G5 toy boxes. I just use it as a, uh, display piece. Kind of cool. It's just, tapes falling apart. And uh, this is just, I'm not a G4 fan these days, it just, ugh, but, um, I don't know if it's even real, it's a hand-painted, or hand-drawn Princess Lissy by, apparently by Lauren Faust, I, I don't know, I'm probably gonna get rid of it soon, I'm tired of looking at it, let me know if you want it in the comments, there's a Pooh Bear, um, some G3, now this is pretty much all my G3 stuff I have right now. I definitely want to get more. It's, again, it's becoming my second favorite. Um, it's the one I kind of fell in love with, and I never told anyone about it. I had like a birthday card and a few toys from McDonald's, and uh, they said, well, it's a birthday invitation. I was a My Little Pony themed birthday party for one of my friends, and I just, you know, never said anything about it. And it's my shelf of... Bear in the Blue House people, probably my, the only preschool show I never really outgrew because it's just so wholesome. That's really the only one in that demographic I like. 
No, it's no, no. I like others, but this is the one that really meant the most to me, and I got some a couple of Blue's Clues guys because, well, you know, they're blue, and the hell is that doing up there? Should have been gone years ago <laughs> or months ago. And this is my um, Toy Story shelf. Probably my second favorite animated movie behind the fifth generation pony movie. And it's really the first in CGI too. And we got Buzz, Barbie, Woody, Forky, another Buzz, Jesse, Bo Peep, Mrs. Potato Head, some army men, and uh, you know, what are you doing there, Sonny? But I think Okay, that was a big mistake. And I got some care bears down here and Pooh, and there's Paddington Bear, he's one of my favorite teddy bears. And that is a German bear in the Big Blue House toy, as well as a Russian Winnie the Pooh stacking toy I got for my aunt before she died. Um, and down here, I know it's a bit messy, but we've got more tapes in foreign languages, as well as DVDs, carrier videos. Again, some of this stuff needs to be a video of its own. So... And we're backing up here. Unless you see my bed. I've got some Winnie the Pooh characters up here. Uh, there's Puss in Boots. Shrek, another one of my favorite CGI movies. And has been since I was a little boy. And he was kind of my... The Puss in Boots used to talk, but you don't need more. But uh, we got, like, Kangaroo. And in my bed is just full with... Animal oh, there's Ojo. She was supposed to go up there, but I'm like, yeah. That's okay. And this Eeyore right here, he actually speaks Greek. Most people don't know it. I will upload a video of him. But I've also got some Unlock the Magic Style Care Bears. I've almost got all to date except for True North Bear, who is a Toys R Us Canada exclusive, as well as another bear in England that my friend Jacob Wally showed me. And shout out to him. And we got Izzy and Sunny up there. And these, no, these two also came from England. You can't get them in the U.S. And they've got, like, side pockets couple other sunnies there's one that does something it doesn't do much for what i paid for but it's a cute quality plush um and back here i've got some uh stuff on my dresser uh some care bear coins that came with some of the more recent bears they've actually stopped the coins from what i know but i don't know they're real metal and they each have like a saying on the back this one for example i care cheer bear uh, hug a friend to cheer them up and care out loud. It kind of reminds me when they used to include the videos with the bears like in the thing, the 80s care bear series um, back in the 2000s. So up here I've got some pony stationery, some crowns, sticker pad, and a notebook of which I put some stickers in. I'm going to start using as a diary. And you can already see I wrote Dear Diary in it. Phone. Another piece. I got way ahead of time because the person's daughter didn't want it. She couldn't get into it. Um, it's a G-Side smartwatch. Haven't worn it yet, but good for me to go. And now this right here is a piece of lost media people don't know about. Thought that it was never made. It's the plug-in for the Winnie the Pooh um, game key. Uh, if, people just thought it was never developed, but apparently in Italy it was. I'm kind of hesitant to take it out of the package because I don't want to lose control of whatever piece it is, but, you know. So... Sorry about that, folks, but the camera cut off. Just a favor bag of some sorts. I don't know. My picture from Six Flags of last year, and I had a lot of girls looking at that shirt of mine. There's some Pooh and Tigger sucker things that pop up. A Tigger Bank Mega Block Strain. Now, I've got the whole set that goes with this. I know how rare it is, and we'll do a video of that probably. Uh, this came from a former friend of mine who I had to cut ties with, but it's still cute. It's a handmade stone type thing um so, so here's like a little people type Winnie the Pooh had them for a long time and uh my remotes that go with the tv and everything and uh, we're gonna see what this plugs up in the late um this is a yeah it's my plug up thing for the wall I plug it in there and it's a remote control because I want to plug something in and do it automatically and I'm going to show you what I use it for in a minute and uh down here I got some bags that is a designer suitcase by Hayes. This came all the way from England, and you can't get it here in the U.S. Lots of imported stuff here, folks. I'm so sorry about that, but there's my your friend Pooh and your friend Tigger from England by Fisher Price. 
Another pony bag from the same country, Care Bear. The bag in itself. Um, and there she is, my girl, Zip. She's got my uh, Mickey Mouse cap on with Winnie the Pooh. It's an adult size plastic hat. It's, I think it may have come with those Keyland ride ons. We don't know, but I've never seen one like it. And there she is. Um, and over here, I've got some more. You get a better view. So uh, I've got some more ponies, Care Bears, obviously, and the Magic Rattle Poo. Um, he doesn't actually work, but um, this one's got like a different color rattle than I'm used to seeing, so that's why I thought it was cool. Still a cool bear. And uh, I've got up here a sealed, if you can't see, it's a sealed Think Think Darby um, Care Bear. And yes, I'm also a fan of Animal Crossing, if you did not know. Has been my favorite video game since I was a little boy. Been playing since City Folk. A Pooh and Tigger shelf with a 1960s Woody the Pooh C and Say. Doesn't actually work, but um, still a good display piece because the belt dried up. More Care Bears. And uh, I didn't show you this shelf up here. But you get some Care Bears. You got Eeyore. And there's Jazz Hooves. I believe that's the green one. Yep. And some camera figures that talk. You got Opaline up there, and I'm hoping to get Misty soon because they're like no heart. I don't have. Oh, I mean, I've got like Opaline City with my Care Bears because she's just like no heart on the very original one. I know people say that G1 My Little Pony was like OG Care Bears, but G5 is like OG Care Bears too. So maybe it's for to be like G1. We'll do a video on that sometime. But yep. And uh, here's a poster from the Winnie the Pooh. Broadway show it came to my area, and oh, hold on, an original Furby, you know, my aunt got me, you know, again, well, I should say passed on, because when she died, she gave me a bunch of stuff, she, oh, left me, you know what I mean, so, uh, let's see, and there's just more books and stuff down here, I've got quite a few in different languages, too, lots of stuff I've collected over the years, um, another shelf worth of poo people, um, there's a Pooh and Tigger sticker, and some other things are just in the packages. That's a flag, by the way. I've had that for years. Um, and this is a music store exclusive poster. Um, it, it could be in better shape, but um, you know. Um, shoot, and this is a. Greek Winnie the Pooh smart sticks. The batteries are dead in it. I never tested it out, but that's so cool. Tigger pin, some forks and spoons. Uh, again, lots of 2000s stuff here. And uh, just some blankets. And this is actually a Winnie the Pooh chest. Drove all the way to Indianapolis to get And uh, you and get some tears and poos and stuff. And there's a magic rattle tigger that's sealed. Um, over here we've got another shelf of mainly Care Bears that goes all the way around in my, uh, VCR. And this right here was a Todd Versailles blanket or quilt, but it worked well as a poster, so I'm like, hell, we'll make a 3D poster out of it. Ponies Unite, like the song says in the show. That is really cool. And down here, I've got a... Winnie the Pooh Bubbly Fun Activity Choo Choo Ride On Toy. One of the few left with a working bubble maker on it. Sadly, the steering wheel got broken during shipping. And I paid a lot of money for this too, might it? Because it's so rare. But it still works. And if you want the proof, there's just no bubbles in it now. But we'll do a video with them in. A sunny Star Scout bike, and this too blows bubbles. It's just attached to the back, but yeah, that's really cool. Oh, what was that noise? I wonder what that could be. Wait up. You think it could be something? Oh my goodness, look what I. Yep. Surprise, surprise. I even own my own kitty ride. Well, two actually. One of them's in the garage. But, um, this is Tigger's Boat by EMT. Right now, it's not set up on coins. But, um, 
I put an Izzy sticker there over the coin meter. It says, I am committing tax fraud because it's fitting. Um, if you ever want to see what this does, we'll do a video of this on its own, but there's a coin slot. I got some bears sitting in there. And you got Tigger, Pooh, all them. And I got a smaller Izzy. Buy it. And if you're wondering, right now it has no music. Um, and that switch that's over here that I told you about, I plug an extension cord down here on the motor and I run it, but I'm going to have to get a timer eventually. I have to contact Electech. But overall, once I can get it running, I'll definitely do a video. So this is in some sort of Izzy bike thing. I got a Tigger one like it in the other room, but it's not on display. <laughs> Alright, and you got um, some stuff in here I haven't set up yet. Another shelf of stuff I've got. It's, this is actually a cassette player. I just don't have any... There's a, well, I do have tapes. There's not a tape in it right now. I see and say Junior. That's a different variant you don't see often. Um, random stuff down here. An activity kit. One of those posters came out of... Hold on a second. Because it's kind of messy, but yeah, we'll get cleaned up. Got some pictures up there, and that is actually a balloon. Never blew it up, it was just too cute, so I hung it up as a poster. But uh, yeah, we can't find it anywhere anymore, so <sighs> some hats, Care Bears, and this. Oh, follow your heart. It's a bit smaller, but I can get it to work. And, uh, shit fire. This is Izzy Moonbone's hat. No, Izzy Moonbone's... We'll just say Izzy's hat from that one scene and fit right in. Got it off Etsy when the movie first started. I've got more zips. Some pieces that go to this castle over here. And I wanted some of the first G5 toys, including the Singing Skate Sunny and the Singing Pip. Here's my calendar. And Best Pony's on it this month, so... And it's in the little people down here in the display box. This right here is an umbrella I got from Switzerland. I'm not going to open indoors because it's bad luck. Um, just some other things. I've got some uh, this is Mini World Magic play sets. Um, Sunny toy. And this was actually free to me. Uh, somebody didn't want it, so it came into my uh, family friend's shop she's got downtown. And she just gave it to me. Some... Another Izzy and Sunny plush. And this is the Izzy that sings the Fit Right In song that was the first, released in the first of the movie. Oh, sorry, Zip. I'll do it with you later. 95th anniversary, Winnie the Pooh. Christopher Robin. Pony Books. Um, a designer Winnie the Pooh bag I got at Box Lunch in St. Louis. It's based on the Pooh Coo Clock of the Shows. That's for display only. There's Pip. I don't know if you can see or not. Some stuff that goes with the Tony Box. Some more books and I think yeah I think it's my childhood copy of All for One One Fall. I know this tape is kind of or DVD is very rare these days so so overall it's been a nice film and um I hope to see you in the next video and so does Tigger. Hoo, hoo, hoo.